First off, soak the noodles. These are thin glass noodles. Basically, bring the kettle up to the boil and just pour. Just let them steep there for a couple of minutes. The noodles are for my prawn rolls. As they soak, I'm going to make a spicy dipping sauce to go with them. Start off with sugar. We're trying to create that sweet, sour, salty, but a really nice sort of heated sauce as well. Rice wine vinegar. That will dissolve the sugar. Fish sauce. Now, that's going to give it its saltiness. Next, the chilli. I want the seeds left in, because I want some power. Chilli in. A little bit of garlic. Don't need to chop it too finely. Just slice it. Take a spring onion. Just top and tail them. Slice. Slice the spring onion nice and thinly, so it sort of almost permeates that dipping sauce. I grew up with the love of spring rolls, but on the back of my visit to Vietnam, it sort of transformed my respect for a spring roll. Give that a little mix. A little bit of coriander and fresh mint. Roll them up and chop. Herbs in. There's no olive oil in there. There's no cream, there's no butter. It's just a really nice, light dipping sauce. And wow, got all those senses going on. Now, we're going to make the filling for the wraps. A really nice, fresh noodle salad. Rinse the noodles in cold water, then chop them into bite-sized lengths. Prawns, peeled and cooked. Slice them up. The prawns give a really nice sweetness. Next, the vegetables. I want crunch, freshness, texture, baby gem lettuce. And just shred that lettuce. Next, spring onion. The good news about these wraps is that you can make them up in advance, sit them in the fridge and then take them out, literally seconds before your guests arrive. Peel the carrot. So you've got a really nice, fresh, crunchy carrot. Now, fresh mint, fresh basil, and fresh coriander. Together, it sounds a little bit bizarre, but it tastes amazing. Don't hold back with the herbs. They'll really help make the filling vibrant, fresh, and aromatic. Finally, a touch of lime. Just squeeze that fresh lime juice over there. A couple of tablespoons of your dipping sauce. Don't put too much in there. It just makes all the filling too wet. Just give that a really good mix. That's a very quick, simple salad to eat now, but let's get it into a wrap. Now, take your rice paper wrap, literally 30 seconds, in warm water. You can get rice paper wraps from your local Asian supermarket or buy them online. Gently lift it out of the water. There, ah, beautiful. Lay it carefully onto your board. Place the mixture at the bottom. Don't overfill it, because it'll be a nightmare to roll. Fold them over first, nice and tightly, halfway. Then tuck in the ends and make sure nothing's coming out the sides. Beautiful. They're so light, fragrant, incredibly simple to do. And there you go. A very delicious, fragrant Asian wrap. Certainly different to the Chinese spring rolls I grew up with. Next, add capers, fresh dill, and slices of lemon. Nice and firmly. Look at your line, where the string was, and look. And this one is going to be amazing. 